Now we can revise the topic. We can revise the topic. I know that how much you studied in your room. Anyone can define what is lipid? Raise your hands so those who know. What is lipids? Silent please. Make print of silence. Yes, from the last corner. Stand up and define lipids. I'm not here your excuse. You are in my class. Stand up. Yes. It is organic solvents. Very good. Insoluble in water. So, next one. Yes, that is. These are the onic substances, onic compounds, which are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents like benzene, ether and chloroform. So in the last classes, we all discussed about the classifications of the lipids. Lipid is basically classified according to the, according to Bill Law's classifications. We also discussed the functions of the lipid. We also discuss the Billors classification, B L W O R apostrophe S. Billors classification, Billors classify the lipid on the basis of their structure. On the basis of their structure, sit down. On the basis of their structure, that lipid, firstly, if we define the lipid, lipid uh, lipids, we revise the topic only in five minutes. That organic compounds don't talk. Organic compounds which are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents. These are the basic definitions of the lipid. And when we go for check the functions of the lipid that it is helpful for absorption of fat soluble vitamins which one is fat soluble vitamins which one is fat soluble vitamins which one is water soluble vitamins so for the absorption of fat soluble vitamin what we required we required lipid molecules what we required we required lipid, mo lipid molecules, okay? For the integrity of cell membrane, for the integrity of cell membrane, for the, complex uh, for the complexity of the cell membrane, flexibility of cell membrane, what we required? Up, you attend the test also, you all attend the test also of cell membrane. Cholesterol. Have you studied in fluid bosai model? The presence of the cholesterol, presence of the phospholipids. What is that? These all are the lipids molecules. Okay? So there are several functions in the body, several functions in the cell. Okay? So definition is that now the classifications of the lipid is just to see. Lipid, we classify the lipid all mainly three types. The first one is simple lipids. Second one is compound lipid or complex lipid. Third one is drive lipid.
एंड द लास्ट वन इज मिसलेनियस लिपिड वेरी गुड मिसलेनियस लिपिड ओके सो नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सिंपल लिपिड्स वॉट इज सिंपल लिपिड एंड वी सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सिंपल लिपिड्स दैट इट कंटेन फैटी एसिड फैटी एसिड यू ऑल नो फैटी एसिड वॉट इज फैटी एसिड इट इज अ कार्बन चेन अटैच विथ एल्काइल ग्रुप कार्बन चेन अटैच विथ एल्काइल ग्रुप सम ऑफ द हाइड्रोकार्बन ओके वी आल्सो स्टडीड वी कंप्लीट द फैटी एसिड क्लासिफिकेशन आल्सो बट सिंपली व्हाट इज दैट इट इज अ सिंपल लिपिड्स वी कैन डिफाइन दैट अ सिंपल फैटी एसिड अटैच विथ एल्कोहल ग्रुप ओके वी कैन डिवाइडेड इट एज वैक्स एंड फैट्स एंड ऑयल इन द फैट्स एंड ऑयल दिस इज फैटी एसिड प्लस ग्लिसरॉल एंड वैक्स इज फैटी एसिड प्लस एल्कोहल What are the basic difference between fats and oil? Because I already complete this topic. You, third one, not you. Yes. 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 Try to give the answer in basically in English or Hindi or. ठीक है चलो सही है फैट्स एंड ऑयल वाइट इज ऑन आर टी एट रूम टेम्परेचर देयर मे बी कंसल्टेंसी ऑफ फैट्स इज सेमी सॉलिड ऑयल इज लिक्विड नाउ द कंपाउंड लिपिड्स कॉम्प्लेक्स लिपिड व्हाट द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड लिपिड्स इट्स मींस देयर इज अ कंजुगेशन देयर इज अ प्रोपोर्शनेट कंजुगेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम द अदर मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सिंपली इट कंटेन फैटी एसिड प्लस फॉस्फोरिक एसिड प्लस सम एडिशनल ग्रुप इट इज सिंपली वी कैन सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स ग्लाइकोलिपिड इज फिंगोलिपिड्स in which nitrogen base is as present means there is attachment with other molecules like proteins like lipid like the examples are glycolipids in which the secondary moiety of attached with this lipid molecule is carbohydrate and lipoprotein that mean lipid molecule attached with what attach with lipid mo proteins molecules pl what is the meaning of pl phospholipids we can divide it this phospholipid in two types of presence of alcoholic group the first one is glycerophospholipid glycerophospholipid and second one is nitrogen containing alkali group is pycnophospholipid is pycnophospholipids the commonest thing is that in both of the group there is a presence of glycerol alkali group and there is a presence of spingocene spingol alkali group is present okay so on the basis of their structure we can divide it into main two types now one is derived lipid what is the meaning of derived lipids anybody else from the last bench last one 
लास्ट वन लास्ट वन ड्राइव लिपिड मीन्स वॉट यस नेक्स्ट वट द मीनिंग ऑफ ड्राइव लिपिड्स Every molecules in the biochemistry is important. Every molecules, single DNA, single ribose sugar, pentose sugar, heterolose sugar, polysaccharide, heteropolysaccharide, homopolysaccharides, lipids molecules, nucleic acids. Every molecule is important. Don't think easy. Next one. By dehydrolysis of. yes that is we can divide this one all of you sit down this one is group first and this is group second the lipids which is derived from as a product as a hydrolysis product from group first and group second group first and group second okay examples are first one is fatty acid Do you know the meaning of lipolysis? What is the meaning of lipolysis? Breakdown of lipids molecules. Okay. If we break down the lipid molecule, what we get? We get fatty acid separately. Okay. We get fatty acid separately. So this is we call derived lipid. Fatty acid is what? It is derived lipids. Second one is cholesterol. now miscellaneous lipids what are the meaning of miscellaneous lipids miscellaneous lipid is a molecule which can possess a structure like lipid molecules a structure like lipid molecules okay when we see the structure of cholesterol there is a presence of 21 carbon ring structure we call this structure as c p p cyclopenta phenethrin ring structure ring ring structure and these structures are generally present in different molecules so on the basis of presence of this structure we can divide it it as miscellaneous lipid which can possess structurally same as lipid molecules that is we can divide as vitamin e vitamin d okay squalene and sub pre form of vitamin a retinol so these are what these are these are general classifications of the lipid and this are types of question ask in your exam just classify the lipid give the bill or classifications of the lipid then you will write this chart if the question is asking about how many marks five marks this is vitamin a retinol squalene Okay. Now, up to this, we can complete all this classification in the previous class. So, we go for next with the detailed clinical aspect of all this. I think you all uh, read this topic. You all read this topic about fatty acid, essential fatty acid. Which one is PUFA, poly, unsaturated fatty acid? i already teach you in the previous class on the basis of bond since can divide saturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acid mono unsaturated fatty acids all of you studied okay we are not here to repeat the class because according to the medical education we allotted only a fixed lectures understand 
so we have only a limited time to complete this topic today we are going to start from triglyceride okay triglyceride then clinical aspect of yes ट्राइग्लिसराइड टी जी और न्यूट्रल फैट्स स्टूडेंट वेन वी सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस मॉलिक्यूल इट इज थ्री कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल अटैच विथ थ्री डिफरेंट फैटी एसिड चेन थ्री डिफरेंट फैटी एसिड चेन एंड इट इज अ स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ द लिपिड विच इज स्टोर्ड इन द एडिपोज टिश्यू ऑफ द बॉडी ओके एंड वेन वी नीड द एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग स्टारवेशन ड्यूरिंग प्रोलॉन्ग other conditions body provides energy by the process of lipolysis okay so this is the structure that it contain glycerol attached with fatty acid chain glycerol means what that is three carbon molecules attached with the three different chain so it is glycerol and when we talk about triglycerol that is it is separately attached with the fatty acid chain okay now the function of triglyceride function of tg is what it is a store of metabolic energy what are the meaning of that that means if you take more energy by a biomolecules in the dietary forms it can convert into a glucose it can convert into acetyl coa and when the acetyl coa is more it is next step is going to be in storage form of the lipid that is triglyceride understand तभी तो कहते हैं कि कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि अब मैं एक्सरसाइज नहीं करते फिर भी उनका वेट गेन हो जाता है वाई दे इंक्रीज देयर वेट गेन बिकॉज द एक्सिस कंजप्शन ऑफ द फूड मटेरियल कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू अट्स एंड इट कैन डिपोजिट इन टू द एडिपोज टिश्यूज दैट्स वाई वी इंक्रीज अवर वेट ट्राइग्लेस्ट्रॉल हैव सिग्निफिकेंट एडवांटेज ओवर द फॉर्म ऑफ मेटाबॉलिक फ्यूल पॉलिसेक्राइट सच एस ग्लाइकोजन ग्लाइकोजन इज वॉट इट इज अ स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट विच इज स्टोर इन द लिवर एंड मसल्स वेयर इट इज स्टोर लिवर एंड मसल्स ओके सो वट द यूज ऑफ दिस ग्लाइकोजन वेन वी डोंट हैव आ एनर्जी सोर्स देन दीज ग्लाइकोजन कम इन द मेटाबॉलिक पाथ प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी टू द बॉडी so during the athletic activity during in gymnastic what happen these storage form of glycogens store in the muscle they go for core cycle core cycle is a metabolic pathway through which it can go for liver and provides energy to the body so ultimately what ultimately is that it can storage form of metabolic fuels as glycogen <sighs> and these are the property of the glycerol glycerol molecules triglycerol it is a non polar hydrophobic and uh, proteins and carbohydrate are much more polar therefore they mightly hydrated have to extra weight of water and these are what what these are are the properties of this triacyl glycerol but the major major and major functions of this triglyceride glycerol is that it is a storage fuel for the body what are the meaning of storage fuels what are the meaning of storage fuels that simply means when the body needs when the body demands for energy consumption these fats become provide the energy these tg become break down there is a lipolysis fatty acid chain become removed glycerol molecules become removed and they can again going to the metabolic pathway for provide the energy to the subject okay glycogen store provide energy to sustain physiological function about 24 hours whereas triacyl glycerol stores allow survival for several weeks carbohydrate do offer certain advantages as quick source of metabolic energy because of water solubility simply means that the simply means is that we take the different biomolecules in our diet we take carbohydrate we take protein we take fats in our diet okay so firstly the carbohydrate is utilized for the energy productions okay 
if the carbohydrate energy is not provided, if the person is going to prolong starvation, okay, कोई भूख हड़ताल पे जा रहा है कोई कहीं जा रहा है तो वहां क्या होगा वहां बॉडी की नीड्स कैसे पूरी होगी हाउ द बॉडी कंप्लीट द नीड ऑफ द एनर्जी बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ बाय द यूजिंग ऑफ टी जी ट्राई सेल ग्लिस्ट्रॉल विच इज स्टोर्ड इन द एडिपोस टिश्यूज ओके तो फर्स्टली बॉडी कंप्लीट द नीड ऑफ द एनर्जी फ्रॉम कार्बोहाइड्रेट इफ द कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज डेफिशियंट इन द बॉडी देन इट्स टेक्स टाई साइल ग्लिस्ट्रॉल दैट इज सिंपली मीन्स ग्लाइकोजन इज अ स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट फर्स्टली इट इज यूज इफ द ग्लाइकोजन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट देन ट्राई साइल ग्लिस्ट्रॉल यूजेस फॉर सर्वाइवल फॉर सेवरल वीक्स इफ अ पर्सन गोइंग फॉर प्रोलॉन्ग स्टार्वेशन और एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रोलॉन्ग स्टार्वेशन एंड एनी काइंड ऑफ डिसीजेज लाइक इन द केस ऑफ डायबिटीज मलाइटस वाट एपन इन द डायबिटीज मलाइटस देयर इज नो कंजप्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन द बॉडी नो कंजप्शन ऑफ शुगर इन द बॉडी सो वट इज सो बॉडी टेक्स सेकेंडरी सोर्स टाइस एल ग्रिस्टर ऑल ऑल फैट्स फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी ओके Now phospholipids, phospholipids. Triglycerides is basically a derived lipids. Okay, this is the classification of this lipids. It is derived lipids. Phospholipids, you know, made up of fatty acid glycerol. Why we going for study phospholipid? Because on the basis of phospholipid, you easily understand the structure of compound lipid. How it is made? If a question is comes in your exam, write about. glycerol phospholipid route about phospho uh, spingo formed phospholipids you have to draw the structure okay so made up of fatty acid glycerol phosphoric acid and nitrogen bases made up of fatty acid glycerol fatty acid plus glycerol plus phosphoric acid plus some nitrogen base this is the simple structure of this phosphoric acid okay now see the structure of this phosphoric acid that it contain glycerol alcohol different al glycerol molecules fatty acid chain and phosphoric acid where the phosphoric phospholipids are present where the phosphoric acid is present yes in the outer plasma membrane fluid mosaic model what is fluid, fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic model of cell membrane that there is a presence of lipid protein and lipids molecules okay so this is the presence and the structure of this we can divide classification of phospholipid into two types glycerophospholipids and sphingophospholipids now structure of glycerol and phosphatidic acid that is very student very important you will all understand that phosphatidic acid is what it is diacyl glycerol 3 phosphate diacyl glycerol 3 phosphate according to the term you understand there is the presence of two glycerol molecules diacyl glycerol 3 phosphate that at the three carbon atom there is the attachment of phosphoric acid with the presence of two glycerol fatty acid chain at first carbon atom and second carbon atom so now how can we draw the structure simply there is a three carbon atom molecules are present glycerol in the first carbon atom one fatty acid chains are present in the second carbon atom second fatty acid chains are present and in the third carbon atom there is a attachment of this phosphoric acid and we call this molecule as phosphatidic acid understand now 
ग्लिसरोपिड एंड फॉस्पोग्लिसरेटलीहाइड फॉस्पिटेडाइल कोलिन फॉस्पिटेडाइल इथलेरमीन फॉस्पिटेडाइल सेरीन फॉस्पिटेडाइल इनाइसोटॉल प्लाज्मोलोजन कार्डियोलिपिस लाइसोफॉस्पोलिपिड्स दिस सिंपली डिफरेंट इज वॉट सिंपली डिफरेंट इज अटैचमेंट ऑफ दिस नाइट्रोन बेसिस कोलिन इथलोरमीन सेरीन इनाइसोटॉल एंड प्लाज्मोजेंस दे हैव ए सेपरेट बायो सेपरेट बायोमेडिकल फंक्शंस ओके नाउ सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑल दिस सेपरेटली मॉलिक्यूल द फर्स्ट वन इज फॉस्पोटेडाइल कोलिन वट इज वी कॉल्ड वट वी कॉल्ड वी कॉल दिस एज लेसिथीन नाउ सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस लेसिथीन देयर इज ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स देर दिस इज द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स simply i can remove this choline now you all see what is that this is phosphatidic acid huh it is phosphatidic acid yes or no students say loudly yes sir okay so there is the attachment of this choline group which is nitrogen containing group so we can divide this molecule as lecithin phosphatidyl choline if somebody is make uh, somebody says to make the structure you easily making the structure how can you make it first you make glycerol molecules at the first two carbon atom there is fatty acids are attached at the third carbon atom phosphoric acid are attached okay and on in nitrogen basis there is a presence of some important molecules that is called choline choline is very important lipotropic factor what is the meaning of lipotropic factor the factor which can which can protect the liver to become fatty okay which can protect the liver to become converted into fatty liver it is called lipotropic factor okay phosphatidyl choline now what is the function of this phosphatidyl choline glycerol this lipids containing choline constant of cell membrane di palmitoyl lecithin secreted by pulmonary type second epithelial cell act as a lux surfactant it is necessary for normal functions so student just you try to understand that what we have for how we respire uh, we uh, by the physiological function how we go respiration through the lungs and in the lungs there is a presence of alveoli okay so alveoli is what alveoli is become attached if there is not presence of this lecithin molecules okay so the function is what it is as a lung surfactant lung surfactant means it can provide the more surface tension area for normal functioning if it is absent in the body the the child is suffer from generally it is happen as in from inborn so the disease which is caused by the absence of this is called respiratory distress syndrome what we called rds respiratory distress syndrome if somebody is asking what is happening in the uh, rds respiratory distress syndrome you usually say during the new birth there is a absence of this <coughs> lecithin from birth and there of chances of collapse of this alveoli in the lungs and the there is the presence of this disease is occur okay so this is the first and important function if somebody is asking what is the function of dipalmitoyl lecithin it is act as a lung surfactants okay if somebody is asking what happen if this dipalmitoyl lecithin is not present the alveoli become collapse okay it reduces surface tension in the alveoli and therefore prevent alveolar collapse lecithin is present as a storage form of lipotropic factor choline and methyl group constant of lipoproteins okay this is the function of what lecithin lecithin is what dipalmitoyl lecithin the simply structure you understand this is phosphatidyl choline if i will ask 
phosphatidyl choline what is that it is lecithinin understand now lecithinin now second one is this is the disease which is caused by the deficiency of this molecules insufficient surfactant dipalmutyl lecithinin it is product in the infants and if there is a inborn error if there is a deficient of this lecithin molecules what happen the lungs of immature infant do not have enough type second epithelial cells to synthesize sufficient amount of this dpcc dipalmutyl choline or lecithinin okay so from this the child suffer from which disease rds rds is what respiratory distress syndrome if somebody is asking about the clinicals of this lecithinin you easily say it is rds respiratory distress syndrome now di phosphatidyl ethylenamine same structure phosphatidic acid is same already you seen this phosphatidyl acidic is same <coughs> there is attachment of different natrium base group that is called ethanol amine and it is called cephalin what is called cephalin now what is the now in this structure there is natrium base is ethanol amine thromboplastin it is a coagulation factor third required for clotting process is composed by mainly cephalin students these all phospholipids molecule have separate functions in the body such like lecithinin it acts act as a surfactant cephalin it act as a coagulation factor what is the meaning of this coagulation factor that means it become helpful to be, to become blood clots agar blood clot nahi hoga to kya hoga जो हमारा बाउंस हो जाता है ना जो चोट लगती है जो घाव हो जाता है वो भरेगा ही नहीं सिंपली इज द ब्लड इज नॉट क्लॉट ओके सो दिस आर द हेल्पफुल फॉर ब्लड क्लोटिंग नाउ द सेकंड वन इज फॉस्पिटलाइज सेरीन सेम फॉस्पिटिक एसिड फॉस्पिटिक एसिड इज सेम so it is easy to make the structure structure banana easy hai ke nahi firstly you draw simply these glycerol molecules then you draw the attach this fatty acid chain in the third carbon molecule you attach this phosphoric acid and lastly you attach this special function group we call this special function group as x function group it is serine now question is that in this type of lipids which kind of amino acid are attach that is serine serines are attach and it is found in most tissues now phosphatidyl inositol and i am taking fast to complete this topic myo inositol is phosphatidyl inositol this is mainly present in the muscles same structure there is no change but there is ring form structures are present it is called inositols okay it is mainly the function of this phosphatidyl inositol is what it is act as a second messenger for the action of hormone oxytocin and vasopressin hormone you know in the endocrinology in the endocrinology there is second messenger is what it can act the atp molecule to convert this into cyclic amp okay this is called second messenger now ethanolamine plasmalogens this is the structure of plasmalogens very important phospholipids okay and also a complex lipid if you draw the structure of this lipids this is not too easy to draw but you have to make simple concept that glycerol molecules phosphatidic acid are present and here is ether linkage are present especially okay attachment with ethylamine molecules okay 
this is very important molecules because they having several important function the first function is it is a act as a activating factor it can activate the platelets it can activate the platelets and involve in platelet aggregations why this platelet aggregate because any kind of dc any kind of uh, bounds any kind of uh, ruptures in the tissues or in our skin there is aggregation of platelet is important for coagulation process okay and it is mainly found in the myelin and cardiac muscles okay so all of these phospholipids have different functions phospholipids have different function lecithin has different function phosphatidyl ethylenamine is different functions okay now lipophosphatidases now cardiolipins we call this cardiolipin molecule there diphosphatidyl glycerol cardiolipins as the terms you listen it is present in the cardiac muscles okay they have several important functions function is what it is necessary for etc process electron transport process okay in the and and have antigenic phospholipids now speaking of phospholipids they also contain some sphingol groups as i told you now we see the structure basically these are the sphingo myelin these are the sphingo myelin when you go to the room and study it about the structure you already understand what i say this is simply that there is the attachment of sphingo scene here fatty acid plus sphingo scene we call this molecule as ceramide okay and it is important because these molecules are present in our nerve tissues simply the structure of ceramide now we understand the presence of that it is present especially in the nerve tissues in our central nervous system for the proper functioning of the central nervous system it is important okay these all are the functions of this phospholipids okay so one by one we discuss the first one is major lipid constituent of the cell membrane it regulate permeability of the membrane by action of same membrane bound enzymes electric insulator and nerve fiber sphingomyelin okay constituent of lipoproteins these all are the major important separately functions when you take regular lectures topic by topic you usually understand what is the function of this all compound lipids or phospholipid you understand okay and these are all are major form of this functions of this phospholipids okay act as a lipotropic factor what is the meaning of lipotropic factor those factor which can prevent the liver to become fatty because in the clinical in the clinical um, process there is a change in the liver fatty liver grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 then it is converted into finally liver cirrhosis okay so these are the factor which can prevent the liver to become fatty that's means these are prevent the liver to uh, not store tg in their cells okay because it is good emulsifying agent help in intestinal absorption of the lipid plasmolysis helpful in platelet aggregations thromboplastin coagulation factor third mainly cephalins lung surfactant second messenger and etc process these all are the functions of this phospholipids huh? now glycolipids strand these are the structure of this cholesterol ring structure cyclopenta phenethrin ring structure okay i think we understand the compound lipids we complete this topic we start the next topic in the next class okay thank you
subject was immunity why we should learn the immunity in day to day practice in clinical practice also we came across with different types of microbes that may be virus that may be fungus that may be parasites etc now our body recognizes that kill that those microbes and then also is connecting to other strong immunity or immunological memories like our covid virus covid covid in infection was there we don't know about that virus but in our immune system is actively done with some immunological memory so that after the vaccinations we are getting less infections and less complicated infections now but another entity they the, the virus done is the damage of some cardiac site and also some pulmonary site so now it's happening you will you will came across the uh literature that some cardiac arrest sudden cardiac death is happening now we don't know what what is the next anyway that's why you have to understand immunity inflammation infection daily daily it, it will came across such terms so any organism any organism want suppose ekano onek organism ache there's sorts of in, in uh, organism is there maybe virus maybe virus maybe fungal recognition is a must number one before that defense mechanism is our own is there otherwise amra daily asusto hota each day will keep infected running infected fever running nose etc abscess formation pyogenic infections bacterial infection is going on whatever you are eating whatever you're touching whatever you are speaking to in front of you there any mask infection will going on but our different mechanism are there one one different mechanism is our largest organ what is this skin right number one number two that is a barrier there is a physical barrier is that number two is a chemical barriers also there like gi tract ki ache acid acl that is also ingested bacteria can be damaged tears having lysozymes okay in this way we are protecting so there are two types of innate immunity basic immunity difference is that innate immunity and acquired or adapted immunity which one is important both are important because suppose any microbes enters our body by betraying our defense mechanism barrier 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 cross kore dhuke gelo then immediate action can be taken by the innate immunity not the acquired immunity or adapted that's why this innate immunity is important how i am already dealing with the some microbes macrophages neutrophils dendritic cell nk cells mast cell already discussed but this innate immunity is immediate action but one problem is that this is non specific so innate immunity so so innate innate immunity is it basically is a non specific non specific means non specific means this innate immunity or these cells can't recognize any particular antigen it can kill or it can try to damage any gram positive gram negative virus fungus anything any foreign any foreign they can identify and damage but in case of adaptive this specific immunity is must but this is the advantage is that this is immediate action that is fast action there is fast action already previous i described the feverishly fast feverishly fast that means that's why we came with the fever ekono karo karo jor ache ache to kar kar ache jor jor ache kar kar so this this boy is suffering from some sorts of virus inside her body defense mechanism ke damage koreche biological chemical barrier ke damage koreche ba that ke over powers over drive that action and then enter into the cell duke jo already now the innate immunity is come into action and that is fast feverishly fast that's why is suffering from fever fever is a good thing remember always fever is not a bad thing 
at the peak of fever, our immune system, like that innate immunity system, is in top top class activity is there to destroy the microbes or agents. So avoid paracetamol. I will ask you, I will suggest you to avoid paracetamol if you are comfortable with high fever. If you are comfortable with high fever, please don't take paracetamol, no need of any paracetamol. But if you feel that there's some uncomfortable nature is coming like headache, body, severe headache, for the symptomatic relief you can use the paracetamol. But remember, whenever you are not using the paracetamol during the fever, that means you are decreasing the duration of the disease. J rokta paracetamol ke 8 din, 10 din pohon to nii jete, cholayayave, paracetamol naa ke shetami 3-4 din emo de resti kori de pari. Karun, at the peak of fever, the action of the innate immunity or innate immunity components is important. Now, the question is that, what are the components of innate immunity? Components means kiki thake. Kiki thake at the cellular part and another is a effector part. Is a effector part. Cellular component kiki thake already you know. Janis Savai? Ball again. Cellular component means kon kon cell thake to fight for the innate. Kiki bolchis busto achi. Lymphocytos, lymphocyte, thakbe na ekne. Thakbe one type of lymphocyte. Remember always, lymphocyte basically B cell and T cell is a part of adaptive or acquired immunity. Don't mistake this. Here is the cellular component is already know there is a neutrophil, basophil, mast cell, macrophage, dendritic cells, NK cells. What do you mean by NK cells? Natural killer cell. This natural killer cell, natural killer cell is born to kill. It's born to kill is a fantastic cell to damage any infected, maybe virus, maybe bacterial infected, mostly viral activated cells or viral attack. Suppose this is our host cell. Again, act of virus this is NK cell. NK cells is a born to kill. This is a type of large lymphocytes. cellular component lymphocytes. Don't utter the term lymphocyte in case of innate immunity. That is a mistake. But this NK cells is a type of large lymphocyte. Type of. Not that specific lymphocytes character are not there. But NK cells is a natural killer cell, is a born to kill. Kill means which cell? Amade cell ke? No, can. My question is that this is a viral infected cell and this is a normal cell. This is a normal cell. Is there? Now this will attack to the, this. Ekane attack korbena. Why? There is a specific reason I am telling in short. Any of our normal cell is a presentation of the major histocompatibility complex 1. That is, that is like that MHC1. Now, MHC1, major histocompatibility complex 1, is an expression of our healthy cells. But when it is infected by this virus or any cancer cells, there will be no expression of this MHC cell. Now, there are two types of receptor in the in NK cells. One is a activation of the receptor, activate active receptor, or another receptor is that inhibitor receptor. But both receptors are present. When in case of normal cell, when MSC1 is present in a host cell, this inactive receptor will be overdrived. Either overpower curve, overweight curve. Either action basic or a song air connection curator kote parvena. That means the NK cell will not attack our normal cells. But in case of viral affected cell, there is no MSC1 expression, then these will activate in this way and kill the puro cell tag kill code. How? The presence of two things one is perforins, one is perforins. Acta thakbe perforins and another is the granzyme. 
grand gyms perforate means perforate of the infected cell grand gym means inside the cell cuspices are there naam sunne hoye hoyeche apoptosis porona hoyeche apoptosis porona hoyeche apoptosis mean program cell death okay that is a cuspus system is cascade is there this grand gym will activate the cuspus cuspus activity or cascade and this will cause the apoptosis of the cell and damage and destroy the infected cells it am darkar it happened also in case of covid virus also but the replication of covid virus is so much important and so much protective is there that's why nk cell is no was not sufficient to kill the covid virus Be, uh, having the lack of msc1 expression of the infected cell because that is why the symptoms came and the complication in the second wave came across so in this way nk cells natural killer cell damages only the infected cell not the our host cell normal host cell tar tar to mushkil hoto shobai ke mamma matar mot no that is expression of msc 1 so if any expression of any cell having the expression of msc 1 there is no action of nk cell similarly if there is a infected virus then this expression will gone and this will come without any msc1 expression so in this way this is happen to kill the nk cells jara last bench bose bose mobile me dekhchis you are will be marked can on this is mobile i am already i have told you all all the students to keep your mobile switch up you please come to the front yes you yeah please come so in this way this system is is activated for the nk cells ager bochore dadader history khub kharap pass korate hocche tao ami parini kichu shonke pass korte parini hopefully ami korabo na this is a innate cell cellular component now what is the effector effectors are complement and cytokines effector are complements and cytokines so in this way nk cells are very much aggressive for our host cell and those are the components are the cellular components means some cellular components neutrophil basophil mast cell macrophage dendritic cell nk cells are the cellular component and effector component is the complement system and the cytokines now suppose there is a there is a macrophages are there and this is a bacteria ei gulo ki bacteria bacteria surface e ki thake age din bolechi bol ha yes very good that is called pamp pathogen association molecular pattern right now suppose ei khane the ki thakbe pattern recognition receptor that is pattern recognizes receptor any cells kotha bolchis kintu amar kane asche pathogen ei pattern recognition receptor pattern means ei pattern the first of all any infection in, enters in our body recognition is a must chinbo ki kore right so in this way eke chinbo er chenar khomota ache pattern receptor recognition now this pattern receptor are four types ki ki bol age din bolechi bol yes 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 very good tlr toll line receptor number 2 clr c type lectin receptor number 3 is a rig receptor rig like receptor lr r rig means r i g ami asbo pore 4 is a not like receptor these four types are the pattern recognition receptors मन रखारे नहीं दरकार नहीं 
not means nucleotide oligomerization domain mone rakhar dorkar nei abar bolchi to these are the these are the pattern receptor uh, pattern recognition receptor these are the types and the question is suppose a gram negative bacteria suppose this is a gram negative bacteria the gram negative bacteria the ki thake in water cell lipo polysaccharide the that's lipo polysaccharide is selectively detects the tlr for in this way toll like receptor as variety 10 types mainly human being is a 10 types 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 toll like receptor may be heterodimer and homodimer in details bu bolte gele toll like receptor shesh hoye jabe i am not going details i am focusing the how the recognition is happening suppose this is a gram negative bacteria and this is the poly lipopolysaccharide is there and this toll receptor is tlr4 then it recognizes this one je chole eshe lipopolysaccharide has come but lipopolysaccharide is present in different species this macrophages that innate immunity cell is non specific that means it kills but non specifically killed it does not know the species ekta gram negative bacteria e coli ke marche na klebsiella ke marche na oke marche o jane na o marche that is a non specific and that the specific is a adaptive will come later in the next class adaptive is a specific immunity that is taking time and that's beauty is that of the adaptive is a it gives the immunological memory jate poroborti kale jokhon infection hobe jokhon se take chinte pare tar jonno amader adaptive but immediate accents near jonno je farda je microbes ei gram negative duke gelo she jodi amar shorire problem creates kore that's why he our body will try to engulf after the recognitions the recognition is done by the pattern receptor recognitions a pattern recognition receptor by the help of pathogen associated molecular pattern it present in each and every microbes now what are these eigulo ba kara ei ta hocche lipopolysaccharide ei ta hocche lipotoxic acid these are the flagellin flagella bacterial flagella the flagellin so this pathogen associated molecular patterns are nothing but a part of the microbes that may be li lipopolysaccharide that may be peptidoglycan that may be lipoglycan that may be carbohydrate uh, moiety of the cells bacterial cells so these are the only nas for the part of the patterns repeated patterns are there repeated patterns ra bar bar ache mona kore eta eta total lipopolysaccharide ache pura lipopolysaccharide so these are the l tlr4 it recognizes the lipopolysaccharide that is specific suppose this is the flagella suppose suppose here ekta flagella ache eram kore flagella ache bacteria that means flagellin flagellin is a pathogen associated molecular pattern it is detected by tlr5 that is detected by tlr5 so in this way my focus is that i am come to the point that whatever it may be the microbes there are some sorts of chemical structure called the pathogen associated molecular pattern and that pattern is recognized by our innate cell cellular component cell that are the that may be macrophage that may be dendritic cell that may be mast cell that may be neutrophil that may be uh, uh, nk cells everything it can detects what detects detection of this part by through which there is a three types of receptors are there eigulor modde tlr may be cytoplasmic thakte pare that may be inside the endosome also ekhane o ekta tlr thakte pare that may be tlr4 tlr3 tlr7 because viral infections viral rna viral dna single stranded double stranded e recognized mainly by the tlr3 and 7 এগুলো মুখস্থ করার কোনো দরকার নেই জাস্ট জানতে হচ্ছে এইভাবে যে টিএলআর সেভেন থ্রি ফাইভ প্রত্যেকটা এক একজন এক এক রকম ভাইরাস ব্যাকটেরিয়াকে রিপ্রেজেন্টেড অ্যাজ এ প্যাটার্ন রেকগনিশন রিসেপ্টার্স যেমন রিগ এ রিগটা বলেছি রিগ হচ্ছে ইন্টার সেলুলার পুরোপুরি মানে সেলের ভেতরেই থাকবে দ্যাট মিন্স এনি মাইক্রোস ইফ ইট ইস এন্টার্স ইন টু দ্য বি এট দ্য ড্যামেজ অফ দ্য ফসফোলিপিড অ্যান্ড এন্টার্স ইন টু দ্য সেল তারও বাঁচার upay nahi because recognition pattern recognition receptor is there that link the intercellular and extracellular and intercytoplasmic intranucleus nucleus also microbes will be detected 
যে ভাই এখানে একটা নর্মাল জিনিস আসেনি একটা অ্যাবনর্মাল জিনিস এসছে না হোটেল টু এ যখনই এটাকে এনগাল্প করল এ মনে করে এখানে ঢুকে গেল বাই দা এন্ডোসাইটোসিস রিসেপ্টার রিসেপ্টার কানেকশন হয়ে নিয়ে নিল এন্টি হয়ে গেল এখানে আমাদের লাইসোজম আছে তো লাইসোজম স্যান ফ্যাগো লাইসোজম উইল বি দাইস দ্যাটস এ ফ্যাগোসাইটোসিস হচ্ছে এটা দিস ইজ ফ্যাগোসাইটোসিস নাথিং এলস দেন দেন দিস উইল রিলিজ দিস উইল রিলিজ কি এগুলো কি জিনিস দিস উইল রিলিজ সাইটোকাইনস the cytokines are the chemo attractant they will call the other soldiers je bhai ekhane eta bacteria eshe ami take dhorechi kono rokome tumi baba esho aro matte hobe aro onek ache so neutrophil will come and also mast cell will be stimulated mast cell e ki thake ki thake mast cell e histamine ki kore histamine histamine causing the vasodilatations and permeability of the endothelial cell will be increased তাহলে একটা একটা ভেসেলস ভেসেলসের পারমিবিলিটি ইনক্রিজ করছে সঙ্গে প্রচুর ব্লাড নিয়ে আসছে ব্লাড নিয়ে আসছে মিনস নিউট্রোফিলস আর কামিং অ্যান্ড নিউট্রোফিলস আর গোয়িং টু দ্য ইনফেক্টেড সাইট দ্যাট ইজ কল ডায়াবেটিস তো এভরিথিং লিঙ্কেজ আর দেয়ার তাহলে আপ টু দিস কি কি হলো এন্ট্রি অফ এনি মাইক্রোভস রেকগনাইজড বাই দ্য আওয়ার ইননেট সেলুলার কম্পোনেন্টস হ্যাভিং pattern recognition receptors within them like four types are there toll like receptor clr c type lectin type receptor nod and also rig r l i rig like receptor l r l l this is the intercytoplasmic intercytoplasm and these receptors are recognizes what recognizes the component of the microbes that may be lipoparasaccharide that may be lipoprotein that may be peptidoglycan that may be flagellin that may be uh, poly, 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 polyticoic acid whatever it may be it is called pathogen associated molecular pattern and these pattern are recognized and engulf and phagocytosis done after the phagocytosis cytokines are released for the recruitment and messenger senses ko che okay the sensing the other cells to come je bhai ekhane force force lagbe amar o guard chilo era guard the first line defense is present in the tissue right you already know monocyte in the blood macrophages in the tissue different types of cells or tissue is called different name in the pulmonary it is called alveolar macrophages in the liver it is called cuffer cells in the in the renal it is called mesangial cells in the brain it is called glial cell in the in the connective tissue it is called histocytes so these are the names of the macrophages and macrophages are present all over the our, our the tissue not in the blood now infection goes into the our first in the tissue and then these macrophages acts by this recognitions and the others neutrophil will come from the blood after the stimulation of the chemo attractant and also mast cell stimulation that is histamine and histamine is a vasodilator and also the permeability of the vascular endothelium will be increased and so neutrophil will come into the site যে তাদের ফোর্সফুল একটা প্রোটেকটিভ একটা কম্বাইন্ড একটা কমপ্লেক্স একটা সোলজার আসবে যুদ্ধ করবে অনেকগুলো আছে এতে একটা নেই সো দিস উইল কাম অ্যান্ড দিস প্রেজেন্টেশন ইজ আওয়ার ফিভার ওই যে ফাঁস ফাঁস করছে ইজ হ্যাপেনিং ইজ হ্যাপেনিং ইজ ইন 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 হিজ বডি নাও দোজ আর দেয়ার দে ইজ সাম ভাইরাস দ্যাট মে বি দ্য রাইনো ভাইরাস মোস্টলি দ্যাট মে বি দ্য অ্যাডিনো ভাইরাস that the virus are detected by the tl at 3 and 7 already told you the detected by the pathogen uh, recognition uh, pattern recognition receptor that is the tl at 3 and 7 in the infected cell and then engulf and then now the virus has come and the neutrophil has already come and so that's why in a viral infection neutropenia with lymphocytosis is seen in the cvc so whenever you are dealing with cvc okay jodi ami ekon 5 din pore jodi blood test korte di that may present if it is viral you will come as a neutropenia with relative lymphocytosis and also one focus is that the typhoid typhoid is presentation is same in that case crp level will be high more and there are some specific test of the, the typhoid as present clinical features also can correlate to this typhoid that be uh, infections so he may suffering from viral fever up to the 5 days that may secondary infection will be there maybe whatever 
যদি হয় লিটোফিল কাউন্ট উইল বি লো হাই কেন ওই যে ব্যাকটেরিয়া তখন ঢুকবে আর তোকে অ্যাটাক করার জন্য লিটোফিল উইল কাম ইনটু দ্য প্লেস সো দিন দিস কোয়ে দিস রেকগনিশন ইজ গোইং অন নাও দ্য কমপ্লেক্স ইজ এ সাইটোকাইনস এর রোল আমি এখানে বললাম নাও হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ফাংশন অফ দ্য কমপ্লিমেন্ট হোয়াট কমপ্লিমেন্টস ডান কি করে কমপ্লিমেন্টসটা কি থাকে কোথায় তৈরি কি করে হয় কি করে দরকার কেন দিস আর দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্ট পার্ট যে হোয়াই কমপ্লিমেন্ট ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইন আওয়ার বডি ইন অফ অল অফ আস উই হ্যাভ কমপ্লিমেন্ট সিস্টেম কমপ্লিমেন্ট সিস্টেম মিনস আর গ্রুপস অফ প্রোটিনস কেমন প্রোটিন মনে করো একটা ম্যাথ স্টিকের বাক্স একটা ম্যাথ স্টিকের বাক্স গোছা করে রেখেছিস যদি একটাই চালাস তাহলে কি ও সবগুলো জ্বালাবে কি জ্বালাবে সবগুলো জ্বালিয়ে দেবে তাহলে যদি আমার এরকম ধরনের কিছু থাকে ম্যাস্টিক 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 এখানে এখানে বারুদ আমি এখানে জ্বালিয়ে দিলাম এটা ইজ ইট পসিবল টু প্রোটেক্ট ফ্রম ড্যামেজ ফ্রম দ্য আদার্স নো দ্যাট ইজ এ কমপ্লেক্স অফ দ্য কমপ্লিমেন্ট সিস্টেম জাস্ট লাইক দ্যাট হোয়াট ডাজ ইট মিন কমপ্লিমেন্ট ইজ ডিরাইভ ফ্রম আওয়ার ফ্রম আওয়ার কি এটা হ্যাঁ বল না হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ লিভার সো ইন মেডিকেল সায়েন্স এনি ট্রাঙ্গেল ইজ এ লিভার ইউ আর রাইট আই অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েট দ্যাট ইজ এ ট্রাঙ্গেল ইয়েস ভেরি গুড অ্যান্ড দিস আর দ্য লিভার অ্যান্ড দিস কামিং অ্যাজ এ কমপ্লিমেন্ট 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 ইজ এ কমপ্লিমেন্ট লিভিং কমপ্লিমেন্ট কমপ্লিমেন্ট মিনস ইটস কমপ্লিমেন্টস দ্য ইনফ্লেমেশন কমপ্লিমেন্টস দ্য ইনফেকশন কমপ্লিমেন্টস দ্য ইমিউনিটি দ্যাটস ওয়াই টার্ম ইজ এ কমপ্লিমেন্ট সি ফর কমপ্লিমেন্ট অ্যান্ড দিস কমপ্লিমেন্ট ইজ কামিং ফ্রম দ্য লিভার ইজ বেসিক্যালি ইনঅ্যাক্টিভ তোর আমার সবারই আছে এখনও আমার মধ্যে ব্লাডের মধ্যে আছে হিউজ অ্যামাউন্ট অফ কমপ্লিমেন্টস অফ দেয়ার ইজ প্রেজেন্ট তা হোয়াট ইজ এ ফাংশন অফ দ্যাট কি কি তার ফাংশন অ্যাটিচিউড এত কমপ্লিমেন্টের কেন এত দাম দেয়ার আর নর্মালি সেভারেল টাইপস অফ কমপ্লিমেন্টস আর দেয়ার বাট ইন কাউপ আওয়ার ইমিউন সিস্টেম দ্যাট ইজ এ সি ওয়ান টু সি নাইন সি ওয়ান টু সি নাইন ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর আস বাট দিস ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইজ ইনঅ্যাক্টিভ ফর্ম বিকামস অ্যাক্টিভ হোয়েন এ ব্যাকটেরিয়া অর ভাইরাস চলে আসবে এনি মাইক্রোস এন্টারিং ইন আওয়ার বডি আওয়ার ইনঅ্যাক্টিভ কমপ্লিমেন্ট সিস্টেম উইল বি অ্যাক্টিভেটেড and some sorts of action will be done to provide the damage of the bacteria ki ki tinte function complement kore sara jiboner jonno moy rakhbi one one is a opsonization opsonization mane ki number two number two is forming the membrane attack complex membrane attack complex number 3 it enhances the inflammation enhances mane hocche bariye dewa inflammation ke bariye debe so these three function to be done after the activation of the complement system and complement system will be activated after the entry of the microbes or foreign agent foreign antigen anything else noile hobe na নইলে এরা বেরোচ্ছে বেরোচ্ছে কাজ করবে বেরিয়ে যাবে যেমন ডেস্ট্রয় হয় তেমন ডেস্ট্রয় হবে বাট ইফ এনি মাইক্রোভস ইন ডে টু ডে লাইফ আওয়ার মাইক্রোভস আজ গোয়িং অন অ্যান্ড দে আর মোস্টলি অ্যাক্টিভেটেড অ্যান্ড ড্যামেজিং ইন দিস ওয়ে কি কী করে অপশনাইজেশন দেন ম্যাক দেন এনহ্যান্সেস ইনফরমেশন রিটেন ইন ইউর বুক নো ইস্যু নাও দেয়ার আর থ্রি পাথওয়েজ ইট ইজ অলসো রিটেন ইউর বুক দেয়ার ইজ এ ক্লাসিক্যাল পাথওয়ে অল্টারনেটিভ পাথওয়ে and the lectin pathway three pathways are there three pathways are there one is classical pathway classical pathway another is another is alternative pathway alternative pathway and third one is lectin lectin pathway why such important it's important because of microbes 
different types of microbes act differently. Suppose a patient comes with facial edema, puro fully in EST. Puro fully in EST, kirakam have a puro fish edema. He is saying that this is present from birth. That is present from birth. Ebong eta tar dadro chilo. That means hereditary. So this is called hereditary angioedema. That is called hereditary angioedema. Fule ashe. Kintu se se kintu bindas ashe. So that screws the deficiency of this one source of complement. That is C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency. I am going not details. That is also clinically important. If any complement system is inappropriate, ineffective, not in functional, then the recurrent bacterial infection will be there. There are different causes are there already I told you. The patient having some recurrent chest infection, recurrent viral infections, recurrent cough and cold, antibiotics are, uh, is going on, some sorts of viral infection, recurrent viral infection is going on. In that case, we have to suspect that whether our complement system is going on right or not. That may be due to liver damage also. Because from the liver, complement system is coming. Complements proteins. Complement spin is a protein, a group of protein. In a group of mastic like group of protein is there. Mainly C1 to C9 is our important for our clinical implications. Now the first option is the opsonization. What do you mean by opsonization? Age actor macrophage chilo. And a connector bacteria, there are some patterns, molecular patterns are there, right? Too? And these are the receptors, support toll like receptor is there. Now, question is that during the phagocytosis, it must be tasty for the macrophages. Macrophages to tasty cover, tasty. So, this tasty ta korbe hoche opsonin. Please silence. So this making tasty, ki have a complement system. Ki korbe complementer kichu part air upore lege jabe. A bacteria. So complementer tasty, complement laglo. These are the complements. Lege ke tasty bola gula hai. Ever khao, khao. Ever ami khao. Say chamoch niye sche, say ghap kore lagi khe. So this is called opsonization. This is called opsonization and opsonin, opso, which is, is helping for opsonization is called opsonin. That is called complement is a optionin. Now, this is complement, complement, what is That is coming from liver, when microsurgery is activated, right? Now, C1 to C2 and C3, C4, C5, so much. But remember only one thing that is a common for those pathway. Kiki pathway bollam? Classical pathway, alternative pathway, lectin pathway. Whatever it may be pathway, ultimately, ye tinte pathway. Classical, alternative, lectin. Ultimately, as begin to activate C3K. Then C3 will be divided into three parts, C3A and C, C3B. Now this C3A is enhances the inflammation. What is the third function? That will stimulate the mast cell. And mast cell take a key? Histamine. Very good. Histamine key? Besodiazin coach? And? Permeability of the endothelial cell That means so inflammation character gulo korche. Color, rubber, duller, eh? painful, redness, swelling. The same gulo korche ke C3A. The enhance korche ta. A C3B. C3B converted into the different enzymes like C3 convertage, C5 convertage, C3KJ, C3B. It acts on again C3 and then division. It is very tough to understand at this level. I, I understand that. But remember, this is the cascade of reaction. At the mastic ke jodi ami at the bond kori, tarre protect system, protect the mastic ke activate kore, oge puri debe. Thick serakom. 
एक्टिवेट करते करते ऐसे एवरी एवरी कॉम्प्लेक्स एवरी कास्केट विल बी एक्टिवेटेड एंड नाउ दिस थ्री बी टाइ होती है ये टा एक टुकड़े बोल लाम ना ऑप्शन इन ये थ्री बी थ्री बी गिये माइक्रोब्स से रुपए ओके टेस्टी बनावा जोनो बिरयानी का मसला लगी दी ची तो थ्री बी होती है बिरयानी का मसला टू टेस्ट टू मेक इट टेस्टी फॉर द मैक्रोफेजेस डेंडाइटिक सेल मास सेल ऐसे एनी सेल दैट नॉट मे बी द मैक्रोफेज एनी इननेट सेल्स इस टेस्टी जो दी होए खावे आलोक रे खावे एंड दैट विल डैमेज कारण एनगल्फ ना कोले फैगोसाइटोसिस ना कोले इट विल नॉट इननेट इम्यूनिटी फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट रिकॉग्निशंस देन एनगल्फमेंट और फैगोसाइटोसिस देन द रिकॉग्निशंस एंड देन आफ्टर दैट द रिमूवल एंड आल्सो अटैचमेंट और कनेक्शन टू द एडेप्टिव इम्यूनिटी आई एम कमिंग लेटर but this is test three is three v is going down now this three v will be connected to four four b two a mane ekhane complement four four er abar b four er abar ei complement er abar two a so this remember always complement level jokhon bhange tokhon a ar b te bhange any number a gulo hocche sob a gulo hocche enhances the inflammation mainly c3 a and also c 5a these two mainly are the enhancer of the inflammation by the stimulation of the mast cell mast cell theke ki beroy histamine histamine ki kore vasodilatation and the vascular permeability increase and so enhances the inflammation inflammation to etai etai hoy so in this way 5 3a uh, c 5a and c 3a is for the inflammation And 3B is for opsonin. Now another term is a MAC. What does it mean? Membrane attack complex. Ki kore? Suppose this is a bacteria. Eta bacteria. Pattern recognition is there. Pathogen associated molecular patterns are there. That may be like like a for polar circle. That may be peptidoglycan. Any anything, any membrane walls are as acts as a pathogen associated molecular patterns. So these are the bacteria. Membrane attack complex means. Hey, can I get a hole to dig out of it? A cellular mode. Get a perforation type of curve. Kya curve? Complement. Kya type of curve? Ast. So these are the hole when a microbes having some holes, and osmotically, what do they do? Blast, party they will jolt together with cell membrane, and that will damage, and that is called membrane attack complex. That is MAC, and that is done, that is done, beautifully done by. छोटा कोरे बजावा चिस्टा कोरी जेटुकु. इटा अपन को एक ता cell. इका ने किया ची इटा. लिपिड लेयर बायलेयर तै तो जानिस तो नकी ना आवर पूरा डाकते होवे अरे हैं ठीक है छे लिपिड बायलेयर इज देयर तरे की की बोलेछिला आगे C3 C4 C5 ए बों देस छे 6 7 8 9 ए कथा बोली नी किन देखन जखन C3 के जखन एक्टिवेट करा गेछे मैस्टिक ताले ओई बाकी गुलो सब कोटा एक्टिवेट होए आछे Those are the activated. Now C5. Suppose this is C5. C5 ta a membrane is a get there. C5 ta ekhane touch korbe membrane. Ita achche yes yes you can go. Ita achche five. I mean five five bhi kollam. Then you will come at C6. Ek tu kore dhu dhu kulo. Seven ta bata puru dhu kegal. Ita achche seven. हलो आठ नम्बर लागल चले आसम भाव सी नाइन चले आसन इट उल फर्म लाइक दैट एक होल टाइप कर व्हाट आर द फर्मेशन कमप्लेक्स कमप्लेक्स बमप्लीमेंट की C5, C6, C7, C8, and C9. Done. That is a bomb. 
যদি বলে আমাদের মাইক্রোবোম আমাদের শরীরে কে আছে কমপ্লিমেন্ট ম্যাথ স্টিক রিমেম্বার একটাকে অ্যাক্টিভেট করলে বাকি সব অ্যাক্টিভেটেড কি হবে করবে থ্রি ওয়েজ হাও অপশনাইজেশন কে করলো থ্রি বি কি করে হলো তিনটে পাথ হয়ে অল্টারনেটিভ পাথ হয়ে ক্লাসিক্যাল পাথ হয়ে লেকটিং পাথ হয়ে আলটিমেটলি অ্যাক্টিভেট সি থ্রি সি থ্রি ব্রেক আগেই বলেছি এনি কমপ্লিমেন্ট ব্রেকস ইন্টু টু পার্টস স্মলার পার্ট অ্যান্ড বিগার পার্ট স্মলার পার্ট ইজ এ অ্যান্ড বিগার পার্ট ইজ বি এনি এ মিন্স কল অ্যানাফাইলোটক্সিন এগুলোকে আবার অ্যানাফাইলোটক্সিনও বলা হয় এনহেন্সেস দ্য সি থ্রি এ এনহেন্সেস দ্য ইনফ্লেমেশন বাই স্টিমুলেটিং মাসেল মাসেল রিলিজেস হিস্টামিন হিস্টামিন ইজ এ বেসোডায়োলাইটার আর কি করে পাসকুলার পার্মিটি ইনক্রিজ করে সো এনহেন্সেস দ্য ইনফ্লেমেশন C3-5 থ্রি ফাইভ অলসো সেম সি থ্রি ফাইভ মিনস সি ফাইভ ভেঙেছে আগে সি ফাইভ এ হয়েছে সি ফাইভ বি হয়েছে এই যে এই এতগুলো আসছে যে সি ফাইভ এটা বেসিক্যালি কিন্তু বি দিজ আর দ্য বি পার্ট কারণ এ পার্ট তো গেছে ওখানে বলে দিয়েছিলাম সি থ্রি এ অ্যান্ড সি থ্রি বি বি বিটা কী করলো সি থ্রি বি কী করলো অপশনাইজেশনস ব্যাকটেরিয়ার গায়েতে টেস্টি হয়ে গেল দেন শো দ্যাট দ্য টেস্টি ব্যাকটেরিয়া মে বি এনগালফ বাই দ্য ম্যাক্রোফেজেস অর ইনেট সেলুলার কম্পোনেন্টস সো ইন দিস ওয়ে দি সি নাইন দিস আর দ্য সি নাইন সি নাইন টেন টু সিক্সটিন সি নাইন কাম ইন টু দ্য ফরমেশন অফ এ হোল এটাকে একটা হোল ট্যাপের করে দেবে যদি একটু ছোট ছোটো করে আঁকিস সো দিস উইল রিমেন লাইক দ্যাট অ্যান্ড দ্যাট ইজ দিস ওয়ান অ্যান্ড সো দ্যাট দিস হোলস মিনস একটা সেলের ভিতরে এটা একটা ব্যাকটেরিয়াল সেল এটা একটা ব্যাকটেরিয়াল সেল বা এনি মাইক্রোবস এর সেল দ্যাট সেল মেম্বার ইট ইজ দেয়ার so inside this is bacteria water will come out and come down and this will be cytolysis cytolysis that means microbes will be damaged kothin lagche ekta ekta so complement system is important for your viva complement system important for your theory also tale eto kor bondho ki ki porlam ekta gist kori what are those First of all, any microbes enters in our body, immediately is functional will be our innate immunity, not acquired or adapted immunity. Because our innate immunity is non-specific. It does not know the species about the bacteria, species about the virus. JQ was with Ake Thamsu. Non-specific, but fast acting. And also there is no role of any immunological memory formations. Kono memory rakhte parve na. But in case of adaptive, this is the first, no, this is a slow. It takes weeks to create the immunological memory, but that is important, that is specific for the specific antigen. Innate immunity is non-specific. Say, gram positive ke maart che, gram negative ke maart che, gram negative bacteria, kindu se jane na kone species ke maart che, ese che maart te hao. Kiya be maart be? Anek bhaiya maart te hao, maart te hao, maart te hao. Kiya be maart te hao, NK cell di maart te hao. এনকে সেল দিয়ে কীভাবে হবে না এনকে সেলের জন্য এম এস সি ওয়ান একটা এক্সপ্রেশন নর্মাল সেলে থাকে যেটা ভাইরাল ইনফেক্টেড সেলে থাকে না সো দ্যার ইজ নো এম এস সি ওয়ান এক্সপ্রেশন ইন দ্য ভাইরালি ইনফেক্টেড সেল অর ক্যান্সার ইনফেক্টেড সেল মানে ক্যান্সার একটা সেল আছে তাকে মারবার জন্য কিন্তু প্রথমে অ্যাট দ্য ফার্স্ট এনকে সেল উইল হেল্প ক্যান্সার সেল অলসো বিকজ ক্যান্সার সেল ইট হ্যাজ নো উইল উইল বি লস্ট এম এস সি ওয়ান কম্পোনেন্ট অ্যান্ড দ্যাটস ওয়াই দিস এনকে সেলস বাই দে আর অ্যাক্টিভেটিং রিসেপ্টার উইল ড্যামেজ বাই টু থিংস ওয়ান ইজ পারফরেন্স Another is granjimes. Granjimes causing the apoptosis of those microbes, my, of those cells. Puro cell tend damage kore, virus ke noi. NK cells, we damage virus infected cell, not virus. In this case, there are different types of innate immunity components. There are cellular components, there are effector components cellular components mean defined cells like nk cells mast cell macrophage dendritic cell neutrophil etc and the effector are the two one two things one is complement system and the cytokines cytokines kokhon asbe when in the tissue when a macro macrophage or dendritic cell is encroaches to attack a virus bacteria dhuke geche hoy kore ekhane eta pin dhuke gelo hot kore tar shonge the bacteria dhukbe je gelo tissue the gelo the tissue will recognize that foreign Yes, the foreign, foreign will engulf, engulf and also complement system simultaneously will be activated because complement system is released from the liver in inactive stage. 
until otherwise any foreign antigens are present or foreign body is present. So if any foreign antigen or microbes are entering in our body, then the complement system will be activated. So if we have a macrophage system, macrophage is a complement system. So the system is simultaneously chose to destroy the pathogens. To destroy the pathogen, recognition is the first. By the help of pattern recognition receptor, like toll-like receptor, C-type lectin receptor, rig-like receptor and nod-like receptor. That's NO, N, eh? NOD. So four types of pattern recognition receptor that they are. Kake recognition score Pathogen estrogen molecular pattern. Tarakara. They are, are nothing but the bacterial wall compositions of chemicals like lipoprosaccharide, peptidogly peptidoglycans, carbohydrates, maybe viral RNA, viral DNA. That's like viral is component, it's recognized by the TLR37, flagellin is TLR5, lipoprosaccharide TLR4. In this way, different types of receptors is present in cell, outside the cell, means cell membrane and also the inside the cell. So any organs is going outside the cell and inside the cell, it will be damaged. It will be damaged by microbes, by the recognitions. The question is that macrophage wants for the testy microbes. That's why already in already activated C complement system in the three pathways: classical pathway, alternative, alternative pathway, and lectin pathway. These pathways are different and very complex. I don't uh, I, uh, I touch just to touches the pathway. Ultimately, effective C3 activation. C3 means a complement. The complements attacks as they activates like the C3A and C3B. C3A, 5, uh, uh, complement 5A, those are the enhances the inflammation. Complement system, three function, opsonizations, membrane attack, membrane attack complex and enhances the inflammation. Enhances inflammation done by the complement system 3A and 5A. And other 3B is option in testy, biryani masala. Chulas bekothai, microbes guy to make it tasty, to engulf more and more by the macrocyte, uh, macrophages. Now macrophages after the phagocytosis, it will release the cytokines. Ki korbe, chemo attractant. And also it stimulates the mast cell simultaneously by C3A and C3-5A. Histamine, vasodilations, permeability increase, inflammation enhancement. And also neutrophil comes out from the safe blood to the tissue by the help of diabetes in the in the, in the same time where the tissue was damaged by the microbes only macrophage was there first after the complement system activations and some cytokine release now neutrophil has joined with them and they will kill the try to kill the bacteria virus flagella jaja jj dhukeche fungus marbar chesta korbe they will try to kill and also kill there e je amra infection hole pass pai na pass infection that is what is that? That is a dead cell of neutrophils, nothing else. If it is passed, that means our neutrophil function is good. If need, you can drain that. Otherwise, you can treat with some good antibiotics also. So, there is a debris of the neutrophils. Neutrophils are still there. Immunity is still there. Neutrophils are still there. Why it is coming into tissue? This is coming due to the chemo attractant, due to the complement system activations. And complement system activation 3B is option in bacteria. Jaja dhuke chilo, taki khe chhe. Kajan. So the man Hegalokach, the Laman immune system to the Nathakto, in the Timurji Nathakto, the Lam fast acting Kekotovai, Kotona. And that is called, this is feverishly fast. Fever Hobe, man in the Timurji accent. Anything, any student from now is having some fever, that means he has good innate immunity. He has or she has good innate immunity. Innate immunity is a non specific, fast acting, counteract fast. And Kono pathogen Jawarage, Oyag activation hobe, adapted immunity hobe na. It will take some time and it helps from the innate immunity also coming the coming later if time permits. So now membrane attack complex. Kidokachilo? Ami K Santi de Patina paid Borege. Atu bacteria is chat parachena. Bijani K paid Borege, Bijani was lucky. Now we want to damage the, those bacteria. To damage the bacteria by total lysis of the bacteria cell, cell or structure damage in virus also. 
সো হ্যাভ টু ডু সামথিং হয়ট দ্য স্ট্রাকচারটাকে ড্যামেজ করে দাও কি তৈরি করব একটা হোল তৈরি করবো বাই বাই দ্য হেল্প অফ কমপ্লিমেন্ট কি কি সি ফাইভ সি সিক্স সি সেভেন সি এইট অ্যান্ড গ্রুপস অফ সি নাইন দ্য ফরমেশন উইল ফর্ম লাইক এ হোল এরকম একটা হোল অ্যান্ড দিস কামিং ওয়াটার কাম এন্ড ডাউন অ্যান্ড দ্য অসমোটিক অসমোটিক্যালি লাইসিস সাইটোলাইসিস হ্যাপেন্স অ্যান্ড দ্য ড্যামেজ অফ দ্য ব্যাকটেরিয়া সেল ওয়াল ড্যামেজ পুরোটাই ড্যামেজ হয়ে গেল ব্যাকটেরিয়া অলমোস্ট সেম কম্প্লিমেন্ট সিস্টেম ইজ অ্যাক্টিং করছে কিন্তু আমাদের ইট উইল এভরি ডে ইজ ইজ হ্যাপেনিং টু আস দ্য কোয়েশন ইজ দ্যাট না হোয়াই ইজ দ্য ফাংশন অফ অ্যাডাপটিভ কী দরকার ছিল তার অ্যাডাপটিভের কী দরকার ছিল আমার মানে ইয়েতে ইয়েতে অ্যাকওয়ার্ডে তার কারণ হচ্ছে ফর আওয়ার স্পেসিফিক অ্যান্টিজেন্স নাম্বার ওয়ান নাম্বার টু টু নো দা আওয়ার মেমোরি টু সেল সাম ফরমেশনস দ্যাট এই ইনফেকশানটা আমার একবার হয়েছে নেক্সট টাইম যেন এর খুব বাড়াবাড়ি বাড়বাড়ন্ত না দেখা যায় অল্পতেই একে মারব কীভাবে মারবে টু রেকগনাইজ দ্য স্পেসিফিক অ্যান্টিজেন বাই দ্য হেল্প অফ টি সেল অ্যান্ড বি সেল দ্যাট ইজ দ্য লিম্পোসাইটস অ্যান্ড ইন এ টিমিউনিটি সেল রিমেম্বার ওয়ান সেল দ্যাট ইজ ডেনড্রাইটিক সেল দ্যাট ইজ এ গুড কানেক্টার বিটুইন ইন এ টিমিউনিটি অ্যান্ড অ্যাডাপ্টেড ইউনিটি ইন এ টিমিউনিটি অ্যান্ড অ্যাডি কানেক্টার কানেকশানস করবে কে ডেনড্রাইটিক সেল টু সাম এক্সটেন ম্যাক্রোফেজেস অলসো but remember dendritic cells is a called antigen presenting cells so in our body antigen presenting cells are dendritic cell macrophages and also b cells b cell itself is antigen presenting cells so antigen presenting cells it will be it will be totally <coughs> one type of different sorts of chapters that is called the adaptive antigen presenting cells apc are the dendritic cell dendritic dendritic cells number 2 is a macrophages macrophages and number 3 is a b cell itself b cell itself b cell is a part of the adaptive immunity but these two are the part of innate immunity in the in the that and dendritic cell is a powerful antigen presenting cell and powerful connector of the innate immunity and the adaptive immunity তাহলে কানেকশান তো একটা কিছু করছে সে কি করবে টাইম অলমোস্ট নিল জাস্ট অ্যান্টিজেনকে কালেক্ট করে প্রেজেন্ট করে দেবে লিম নোডে অ্যান্টিজেনকে কালেক্ট করে লিম নোডে লিম্পোসাইড সিস্টেমে বেস করে না এই ধরনের এই ধরনের অ্যান্টিজেন এসেছে টুডে উই উইল বি টকিং অ্যাবাউট ইউরেন টুডে উইল বি টকিং অ্যাবাউট ইউরেন ইউরেন অ্যানালিসিস the constituents of urine the constituents of urine and what are their concentrations okay and what happens in various disease processes you see urine is such an interesting thing. okay we had mutton last night Now, just for the sake, you didn't content. Okay. You went out partying with your friends. Had a beer or two. You didn't even tell. Okay. So, you didn't can give us an in-depth picture about a patient. Okay. And very, very in-depth picture. That is why it is so important in your day-to-day practice. You will always be getting patients sir my urine is so yellow sir my urine is so frothy sir my urine is so foul smelling obviously urine is supposed to be foul smelling right but even in all these complaints on the basis of this you have to have a general idea whether the patient is having a normal condition or the patient is having an pathological condition because unfortunately in our country most of the time patients are not able to express themselves very well okay some people you will often see in the opd they will be saying that i have very yellow colored urine sir okay that high yellow color can be a natural process he might be drinking less water he might be drinking less water no so definitely it will not corroborate to a pathological condition 
it will not corroborate to a pathological condition. But you have to be very aware, you have to very, be very aware of how the situation is, okay. So, first of all, when you start an urine examination, you start with their physical characteristics, right. You start with their physical characteristics. So, please use your brain for once and tell me, suppose we have a sample of urine in test tube, what you can actually see with the naked eye. Very good, you can see the color, you can see, what else can you see? You can see whether it is clear or not, you can see whether it is turbid or not, right. You can see whether it is clear or not, you can see whether it is turbid or not, what else can you see? You can see whether there are any deposits or not. Are there any deposits at the bottom of the test tube? Are there any deposits at the bottom of the container? So, you can definitely see that also. What other features you can get hold of? You can take a whiff. <coughs> you can take a whiff of the urine and that can give you plenty of disease inside, especially in case of newborn children especially in case of newborn children. There are so many diseases, there are so many diseases which give an abnormal smell to urine, okay. Any examples you can cite? Very easy examples. Burnt syrup urine, marple syrup urine disease, okay. It will give you a smell of a burnt sugar. Anyone have ever tried to make caramel at your home? Okay, no. Just take a little bit of sugar. It exactly gives that kind of an odor. Okay. Boiled cabbage like smell. You find it in phenyl ketonuria. You find it in phenyl ketonuria. Okay. Anyone heard of alkaptonuria? I know protein metabolism has not been taught as of yet, but definitely alkaptonuria. What is the hallmark of the disease? You let it stand, you let it stand in what? What do you do? You let the urine stand in room temperature, in room air, and it will be turning black. Why? Why? Due to production of alkaptone. Okay, due to production of alkaptone. So, the by visual characteristics, you can determine whether the urine is high colored. If there is red colored, then there is a potential chance of the patient having a hematuria, okay. Or it can be of totally normal yellow color. It might have, it might be very thick. It might be very thick and gelatinous. You might find a cobweb over there, thick, okay. That will give you an idea whether the patient might be secreting proteins out of their body. Huh? Are proteins supposed to be excreted in your body? Huh? Yes or no? <laughs> it is obviously excreted, but it is excreted in trace amounts. Why? Physiology. Why? Why, 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 why? Yes, it is reabsorbed completely, okay. It is not absorbed completely. It is reabsorbed completely where? In your renal tubules, it is completely reabsorbed, okay, and only albumin is permissible to get out in your glomerular filtrate. All other proteins will not get through your glomerular filtrate until and unless there is a specific disease process which has caused injury to your Bowman's capsule, like, like, like nephrotic syndrome. Effacement of food processes, that will be taught later on, okay. Nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, okay. The plain physical characteristics we observe. First is your color, then there is viscosity, then there is deposit. So, viscosity of urine is measured by what? Specific gravity, specific gravity of urine. So, what is the normal specific gravity of urine? What is the range? One at a time, nobody is being able to hear and understand anything. One to? 
exactly 1.01 to 1.025 okay so what is this what is the importance of the specific gravity over there yeah that is one very good point it can be used to distinguish diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus however i was looking for a much easier answer yeah more concentrated how why any easier things think for a little bit about it very easy thing that can be uh, weight difference do you weigh your cell volume oh my god yeah same volume different weight what does what is the easiest thing that you can derive exactly the thing is you can all specific gravity will always give you an overall idea that there might be something being excessively secreted in the urine if your specific gravity is at pathological levels <coughs> if your specific gravity is at your pathological levels for example if someone has multiple myeloma someone has multiple myeloma so what will happen to the urine the specific gravity will will increase definitely increase the person is secreting incomplete portions of immunoglobins okay so most of the time if there is a pathological incre incremental levels of specific gravity of urine that usually identifies a disease process it can be something as simple as a uti or it can go up to a difficult condition like a multiple myeloma okay so these are the main physical features of urine that can be seen on naked eye that can be seen via naked eye okay what else now let us talk about constituents of urine okay now let us talk about constituents of urine what do you think can be present in a urine sample what constituents can be there in a urine sample yes first there can be sugars there can be proteins then bilirubin urobilinogen not urobilinogen urobilin it is not urobilinogen urobilinogen is not excreted okay it is the inactive form it will finally become urobilin and then it will be excreted in urine until and unless there is an underlying disease process okay until and unless there is an underlying disease process so the basic general features general features that you see in a urine are sugars proteins might be bilirubin or urobilinogen okay then urea creatinine a little bit of sodium a little bit of potassium a little bit of chloride and calcium as well a little bit of chloride and calcium as well and five bicarbonate is totally reabsorbed because that is bicarbonate is the most important buffer for the body okay so the body will have 100% reabsorption of bicarbonate in normal urine formation process until and unless it is interrupted by pathology or a compensatory mechanism that is coming out of uh, acidosis okay so until and unless if that is not the case then most of the bicarbonate will be your reabsorbed from your renal tubules okay are we clear about that everybody with me till now everybody with me till now so in order for these trace elements to be present in urine i will not uh, bother with the concentration because the concentration is uh, very very less with respect to with respect to blood okay so let me tell you something very interesting which recently happened with me in a, in my biochemical practice is that um, i gave a protein creatinine ratio report okay in that protein creatinine ratio report the clinician asked me that sir i have asked for a protein creatinine ratio right you have given me microprotein 
in your report in place of protein it is written urinary microprotein. But I am not, not asked for urinary microprotein. I, I have asked you for protein only. So how, how, how does this work? And you said that it is microprotein, yet the unit is in milligram per DL. How is that possible? If it is microprotein, then it, it should have been 10 to the power minus 6. So it should have been microgram, right? Microgram or not? Microgram or not? But you gave me milligram per DL. How does it work? I think there is there is an error in your estimation. I said no sir. The thing is the amount of protein concentration with respect to your blood is 10 to the power minus 6 in urine, okay, which is very, very trace. But the concentration of creatinine in your urine is in milligram per DL. So, in order to equal, in order to ambivalence these both parameters, so that we can give you a functional protein creatinine ratio, what we did is, we changed the unit into milligram per DL and named the protein microprotein, that is 10 to the power minus 6, that is how we equated both the processes. Basically, this microprotein means that the, it is the same protein that is present in the serum, but it is at a concentration to the power minus 6 than that of the serum. That is why it is microprotein. And as far goes as your unit, this unit has been corrected with 10 to the power 6, so that we can give you a functional protein creatinine ratio. Otherwise, you would have had a 10 to the power minus 6 in the equation and you could not have formed a ratio. Okay. So, if someone, if any one of you will delve into the world of lab medicine like me, then numerous day in and day out, you will have to give explanations for reports. Okay. You will have to give explanations for report. Sometimes you will be very commonly, you will face this situation that the urine is a little bit dry. You did not find a single parcel, you did not find a single RBC. Yet the protein is, uh, yet the urine is quite reddish in color. Maybe the clinician saw the sample. Maybe the clinician saw the sample. I thought, yeah, red, definitely, uh, this patient is having an UTI, you gave a totally normal report, a totally normal report, then what? Now you are being challenged, your report is being challenged. No, I saw it was red urine. How come there is not RBC and WBC or pus cell present in the report? How will you, what, what will you say? What explanation will you give? The patient took beetroot, the patient took multivitamins or the patient might be a tubercular patient who is on ethosuximide. This will cause change in color of urine. Okay, you have 1 kg of beetroot in your dinner, early morning we will see you will have reddish urine. Might be that urine was standing, might be that urine was standing at higher temperatures for more than 5 hours or 6 hours. That is why it was reddish. My analysis is right. <laughs> okay. My analysis is right. But most of the time, you will have to defend your reports to the clinician. So, for that, you have to know what is going on. You need to have the what? You have you need to have the basic knowledge. Similarly, as a, as a clinician, you also need to have the basic knowledge of how to interpret the reports. Okay. Here I will also talk about a, another a physiological concept and that is called renal threshold. What do you mean by renal threshold? Renal threshold, renal threshold for glucose is more than 126, 180, more than 180 that is the renal threshold for glucose. What do you mean by that? You are beautifully wrong.
एनी आइडिया सर जी नो आइडिया सर जी सी वॉट इज है यू हैव यू हैव अ पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट ऑफ कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ एनी एनालाइट इन योर सीरम टेक ग्लूकोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके नाउ ड्यूरिंग फिल्ट्रेशन बेर मिनिम द एंटायर द एंटायर थिंग विल बी फ्रीली फिल्टर्ड ओके एंटायर थिंग विल बी फ्रीली फिल्टर्ड एंड इट विल बी प्रेजेंट इन योर अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेट बट दीज पैरामीटर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू द बॉडी डज योर बॉडी वॉन्ट यू टू लूज ग्लूकोज थ्रू यूर इन येस और नो डज योर बॉडी वॉन्ट यू टू लूज ग्लूकोज थ्रू यूर इन येस और नो नो सो वॉट इट विल डू इज इट विल टोटली री एब्सॉर्व but there is a but if the levels of that particular analyte in blood is up is at a particular high value then the reabsorption mechanisms will not work or they will not need to function because this entire thing is based upon the balance of blood levels for that analyte you have got more than 180 mg of sugar in your blood vessels so your body does not sense the need to reabsorb glucose the body does not need the does not need to reabsorb the glucose it is getting full it is getting full he is thinking that glucose is adequate in the body okay that is why there is no reabsorption that is the role of renal threshold it is present for each and every analyte okay this is true for glucose this is true for proteins this is true for bilirubin this is true for urea creatinine this is also true for sodium potassium as well okay usually at undergraduate levels renal threshold of glucose is on the axed and that value being 180 mg per dl where urine or serum no serum <laughs> no serum obviously it is serum okay it is serum hmm. another very important thing important parameter that you have to know during an urine analysis is the ph okay is the ph because all serious conditions will cause an acid base disbalance in your body okay you will have conditions like respiratory acidosis metabolic acidosis respiratory alkalosis metabolic alkalosis and if these conditions are thereby present the ph of urine is supposed to be changing okay what is the normal ph of our urine 6.5 or 6.3 to 7.2 okay 7.2 urine is slightly acidic urine is slightly acidic okay urine is slightly acidic so in order to perform a urine analysis quickly in order to perform a urine analysis quickly we have formed a test and that test is called urinary dipstick test urinary dipstick test okay i am quite sure all of you have seen chicken strips but not strips of paper <laughs> okay so there is a long strip okay pay attention pay attention this is important okay this is important so there is basically a long paper strip and up to here is the place where you are supposed to hold the strip okay and then you will have small small boxes like this
and all these boxes will have small pieces of chromatographic paper okay it will consist of small pieces of chromatographic paper this is what is called dry chemistry and there is a reagent there is a reagent applied in all these small boxes okay suppose first one is i am taking this arbitrarily it might not match with the company things okay with the company provided manufactured chips okay suppose this is for glucose this is for protein this is for albumin this is for bilirubin this is for heme this is for ketone body okay so reagents are impregnated on these small chromatographic strips so what you do is you take the urine in a test tube okay you take the dipstick you dip it and you take it out and please don't do this as soon you do this as soon as you do this the entire reactionary material will be will contaminate the entire thing because you are providing a centripetal force just dip it make it horizontal keep it on the table and the smart alex who will be doing this they will be having a beautifully mashed up thing and you will not be able to take a single reading you will not be able to take a single reading right to your seniors while i taught them hay sulfur test i shouted over my lungs out it is just a pinch of sulfur who knows their pinch weighs 5 5 grams they were pouring sulfur as this is the last time they will see sulfur and that also in their university exams okay you are supposed to sprinkle it like yeah and they were like <laughs> okay you put so much sulfur how much amount of bile salts you think are there so that it can support it so in control also there is deposit in the test also there is deposit and then uh, obviously th such beautiful things occur i get the chance to ask my favorite question so do you think you should pass <laughs> okay <laughs> for the last for the last 3 years that has become my catch phrase <laughs> okay <coughs> that has literally become my catch phrase so once again i am telling you please do not rub it please do not shake it you just put it inside pull it up then make it horizontal otherwise you will have like the glucose part will go into the protein part the protein part will go and you will not have a proper color change you will not have a proper color change what happens is if there is a particular amount of analyte which is an higher concentration than normal physiological levels of urine that will give reaction with this pads and this will cause a color change okay and you are supposed to observe that color change with the help of a reference strip you are supposed to compare the color and you are supposed to give a result urine is 3 plus uh, sorry but protein is 3 plus hemoglobin is 1 plus bilirubin yes or no okay you have there is this reporting format you have to report it in that okay so that is what we do as urinary dipstick test let me give you a hint for your university exams okay during your biochemistry practical viva if you land up if you land up with an unknown sample and they say that find what is present in there qualitative analysis you can always have a ready made dipstick in your pocket 
put it see it know the answer then do the practical easily okay you need to ensure that no one sees you doing that so be the smart alec be the smart alec and act appropriately as doctors we have a very small margin for error very very small margin for error okay so you have to be always you know very cautious about what you are doing what you are saying what intervention are you putting you never know when your actions will be called into question even after the best of your intentions okay even after the best of your intentions so now let us talk about the specific tests the generalized specific tests that we do in order to detect these few abnormal analytes of urine okay for glucose that means reducing sugars or any reducing sugar what test do we do we do a benedict's test very good for protein okay for protein what do we do heat and acetic acid and sulfosilic acid test and hellers test and biuret's test okay biuret's test hmm. usually sulfosilic acid is more specific for your albumin let's start for your total proteins okay let's start do you like albumin like albumin you don't like albumin you don't like having eggs eggs he does not like having eggs he is a vegetarian or he is a vegan he is a he is a vegan vegetarian what are you tell us tell us india wants to know come on uh -huh. Huh? vegan come on man don't put yourself in such a uh, deficiency state for good multivitamins okay <laughs> So, if you are a vegan, let me tell you the vegan diet is very poor in folic acid, biotin and thymine. If you continue this diet for a long, long time, very likely you will suffer from deficiencies. Okay. Which definitely growing people and young people like you should not go through. Okay. If you are 110% vegan, then make sure you are taking your, uh, you know, what should I say? Supplements in proper time. Okay. Otherwise, your body will not work. So, that was I. Yeah, proteins. Test to detect proteins. Uh, then you have. Then you have heme. Then you have heme, and heme is diagnosed by benzidine test. Okay. Heme is diagnosed by benzidine test benzidine test then you have got bile salts then you have got bile salts okay if i am teaching you about bile salts there are few things which i just cannot help mentioning to you what are the names of the bile salts yes sodium torocolate potassium torocolate and sodium glycocolate and potassium glycocolate torocolate glycocolate okay this is the most commonly asked viva question if you have bile salts in your practical exams these questions will be asked to each and every student in one point or another, in one exam or another, or you may be lucky enough to be asked the same question in all your exams. Okay. So, you have to name bile salts. If you do not name bile salts, you are, okay. So, you have to name bile salts, otherwise you are in big danger. Okay. Now, why do we need bile salts? This is the second question. Why do we need bile salts? 
yes emulsification he he uttered a very important term emulsification of lipid my dear boy tell me what is emulsification of lipids what do you mean by that emulsification kotha ta hobe goliye deya goliye deya the word emulsification means goliye deya we will emulsify the boundary of lipids we will destroy its hydrophobic interactions so that the central fats and cholesterol can come out for digestion okay that is what do you mean as as emulsification action of bile salts it is just like a detergent it is just like a detergent it functions just like a det detergent okay functions just like a detergent so that is about your bile salts then come your bile pigments okay bile salts is diagnosed by hay sulfur test bile salts are diagnosed by hay sulfur test then you have bile pigments what are the commonest bile pigments there are only two name them bilirubin and bilirubin you have got bilirubin and bilirubin and bile pigments are detected by fouchet's test or ehrlich's test fouchet's test or ehrlich's test a for you c h e t s fouchet's <coughs> early e h r a l i c finally you have ketone bodies finally you have ketone bodies the best analyte to get to answer five questions okay the best analyte to get to answer viva questions if someone is getting ketone body he or she is very happy they will definitely be able to answer at least five questions yes, those five questions will definitely be asked to you okay will definitely be asked to you okay so ketone bodies are diagnosed by rothera nitroprusside test okay rothera's nitroprusside test nitro prusside n i t r o p r u s s i d e nitro prusside test and if you get it on bodies the first question that will be asked to you is what are the two bodies acetoacetate Beta hydroxy butyl rate and and come on, see here. Acid acetate, beta hydroxy butyl rate and no one. Acetate, as simple as that. Okay. That is the first thing. The second thing is. Uh huh. are evidently found in starvation patients okay either in starvation patients or severe uncontrolled diabetes okay. this is also known as diabetes uh, diabetes to us this will be taught to you in much further depth in the coming classes so i will go inside that samples are also very important for toxicology analysis 